To get to a Bitcoin standard, will there need to be massive debt liquidation? What happens to the economy? What happens to all the people who are hold, holding debt that's denominated in dollars or other fiat currencies? Well, first, sell all your bonds and buy Bitcoin. And that's, finan that's financial advice uh, and life advice. But uh, I think you know, one of the things, and, and it was part of my path that got me to Bitcoin. The first thing was meeting SAFE, and he helped me understand monetary economics. And then I went on a deep rabbit hole down the Fed's monetary system. And when I came up the other side, it was that there's no way out, that there aren't necessarily going to be massive debt liquidations. Um, it's that they're going to, the, the Fed has a price stability mandate. And that while they don't have an explicit mandate to target asset prices, bonds, stocks, whatever it might be, uh, the credit system has grown so large, it's orders of magnitude larger than the base money, and it is the way that assets and allocations are made through the function of credit, um, that the credit system is the marginal price setter. So when the Fed has a price stability mandate, it has a mandate to maintain the size of the credit system. And that every time the credit system starts to slow down or even slightly contract, it effectively starts to collapse because of the degree of leverage. And that's what happened last March. That's what happened in 2008. That's why they have to print trillions of dollars. They have to print trillions of dollars and they will have to continue to print trillions of dollars to maintain the size of the credit system. So the nominal dollars of credit might ultimately pay, but your dollars are gonna be worth a very, very small fraction until they're worth nothing. Uh, and that's why you should buy Bitcoin. Good advice. <laughs>